हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑन एस्टिमेशन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द फॉर्मूला फॉर मैक्सिमम एरर ऑफ एस्टिमेट इन द केस ऑफ लार्ज सैंपल एस्टिमेशन ऑफ ए पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड इफ यू रिकॉल द फॉर्मूला फॉर मैक्सिमम एरर ऑफ एस्टिमेट इज ई इक्वल टू जेड अल्फा बाय टू टाइम्स पॉपुलेशन स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन over square root of n so in this lecture we will see how to use this formula to find out the maximum possible error of estimate okay so fine so we discuss this example an industrial engineer intends to use the mean of a random sample of size n equal to 150 to estimate the average mechanical aptitude as measured by a certain test of assembly line workers in a large industry if on the basis of experience the engineer can assume that population standard deviation is 6.2 for such data what can he assert with probability 0.99 about the maximum size of his error so if you recall in this formula we will require the value of alpha and this formula is valid with 1 minus alpha level of confidence or if you recall we have discussed in earlier lecture that probability that uh, if we consider this probability is 1 minus alpha that value of random variable z lies between minus z alpha by 2 to z alpha by 2 and uh, this area in both the tails is alpha by 2 and we have obtained that formula with this assumption that this formula is valid such that the area under this standard normal curve between these two values of z is 1 minus alpha or Uh, we can assert with probability one minus alpha that random variable z lies between these two minus z alpha by two to z alpha by two probability or uh, confidence we can say with one minus alpha into hundred percent confidence that z lies in between these two. So this one minus alpha is the probability. with which we can assert this formula sigma over square root of n so here we have to see what we are given the sample size is given as 150 standard deviation is 6.2 and here we can uh, he it is asked that what can he assert with probability 0.99 that is we are given 1 minus alpha equal to 0.99 what can he assert with probability 0.99 about the maximum size of his error so this is given to be 0.99 so here 1 minus alpha is 0.99 therefore alpha will be equal to 1 minus 0.99 that is 0.01 and therefore alpha by 2 is 0. 005 so this area in both the tails is 0.005 so we will require these two values or we will require this value of z z alpha by 2 and uh, to obtain this value we will use the fact that area to the right side of this line which corresponds to z alpha by 2 is alpha by 2 so we can see from this that probability that z is bigger than z alpha by 2 equal to this area which is alpha by 2 and alpha by 2 is 0.005 so we will use this fact to find out the value corresponding to this point which is z alpha by 2 so before that we can first write down given information given that 
size of sample is 150 population standard deviation is given as 6.2 and 1 minus alpha is given as 0.99 therefore alpha is 1 minus 0.99 which is equal to 0 0.01 therefore alpha by 2 is 0 0.005 so we will require this value alpha by 2 now first we try to find out probability uh, we find out uh, this point z alpha by 2 so for that we use this fact that probability that z is taking values greater than this point z alpha by 2 is equal to alpha by 2 so we are using this fact in other words we can say that area to the right side of z alpha by 2 is equal to alpha by 2 so now probability that z is bigger than z alpha by 2 this is equal to alpha by 2 now we have obtained the value of alpha by 2 so probability that z is greater than z alpha by 2 is 0 0.005 now we are having the uh, standard normal tables for less than type probabilities so this i can replace by 1 minus probability that z is less than or equal to z suffix alpha by 2 using the concept of complementary event so therefore i will obtain that probability that z is less than or equal to z alpha by 2 will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.005 and this turns out to be 0 0.995 so therefore probability that z is less than or equal to z alpha by 2 is 0.995 so in the table of standard normal probability values uh, we have to search for this value 0 0.995 so we will search for this value and uh, from the table we will be able to decide that for which value of z alpha by 2 this area is 0 0.99 0 0.995 so here i have this uh, standard normal curve areas and uh, I have to search for this value in the table 0.995 so I am searching for 0.99 so you can see here uh, we have 0.9918 and I am interested in the values which are very close to 0.995 so we can see here we have two values 0.9949 and 0.9951 these two values are very close to 0 0.995 i obtain these two values 0 0.9949 and 0 0.9951 both are very close to 0 0.995 we will always find out those values of z which are very much close to 0 0.995 from the table here we can see 0 0.9948 is also 0 0.995 if we round off it up to three decimal places but this is near to 0 0.995 as compared to this value 0 0.9948 so i will consider the nearest value to this 0 0.995 and nearest values are these two now these two are corresponding to value of uh, 2.5 and if we consider the columns corresponding to these two values so we have to search here so we can see the columns under which we obtain those two values are 0 0.07 and 0 0.08 so 0 0.07 corresponds to 0 0.9949 so for this value of z is 2.57 this corresponds to the value 2.57 and this corresponds to the value 2.58 
सो द वैल्यूज ऑफ z कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दीज टू वैल्यूज आर 2.57 एंड 2.58 सो रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ z विल बी एवरेज ऑफ दोज टू वैल्यूज सो हियर आई विल राइट दैट z अल्फा बाय 2 इक्वल टू 2.57 प्लस 2.58 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 so i repeat again this is very important i am interested in the value of z alpha by 2 such that probability that z is less than or equal to z alpha by 2 is 0.995 so in the standard normal probability table i find out the values which are nearest to that value 0.995 so here i obtain two values 0.9949 and 0.9951 which are nearest to the value 0.995 now 0.9949 corresponds to the value of z which is 2.57 and 0.9951 corresponds to the value of z which is 2.58 so the value of z alpha by 2 is average of those two values and if i find out this average this is 2. Five seven five. So therefore, we write that z alpha by two is two point five seven five. So once we obtain this value z alpha by two, then it is easy to find out the maximum error of estimate. We have ready-made formula z alpha by two times standard deviation divided by square root of n. So now we can use that formula capital e equal to z alpha by 2 times sigma over square root of n z alpha by 2 is 2.57 standard deviation is 6.2 and sample size is 150 and using scientific calculator i obtain that this value is 1.30 and we can write our answer in terms of the given question what he can assert with probability 0.99.99 about the maximum size of his error so we can say that the engineer can assert with probability 0.99 that his error will be maximum 1.30 so here i can write that therefore the engineer can assert with probability 0.99 that his error will be at most 1.30 or the maximum error of estimation will be 1.30 so in this way we can find out the maximum error of estimate using this uh, standard normal table and this formula so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much